Well, g'day, curd nerds. Today we're making Icelandic skier. So skier is kind of like yogurt, but it's more technically a cheese because not only do you add a starter culture to it, but you also add rennet to it to thicken it up. It's made with skimmed milk, so it's very low in fat and uh, it tastes quite nice. But anyway, let's have a look at how you make skier. So you can see all the equipment I'm using there. I'm using a thermos and a jar a uh, stainless steel measuring cup, some teaspoons and some water. Okay, the ingredients for this cheese slash yogurt is one litre or one quart of skimmed cow's milk, half a rennet tablet, I'm using Mad Millie IMCU 60, which is a very weak strength, and that is diluted in two tablespoons or 30 millilitres of cool non-chlorinated water. I'm also using one sixteenth of a teaspoon of yogurt culture. You can use any yogurt culture, but I use the one sachet of Mad Millie Dairy Free Yogurt Culture. Works quite well. So bring the temperature of the milk up to 40 degrees Celsius, 105 degrees Fahrenheit. But I'm using the direct heat method straight on the stove uh, for this type of thing and then just turn the heat off. Now add the yogurt culture to the milk. This is a direct set, so you just sprinkle it over the top. So there's no rehydration time, just give that a good stir through the milk. So once that's mixed through, we can now add the rennet. Just give that a bit of a swish. It doesn't all dissolve but uh, you get most of it in there. I give that a stir for about 30 seconds just to make sure the rennet is well mixed. So take it, take it off the, uh, the stove top there just to stop it from heating any further. Then pour it into your one litre or one quart jar. It didn't quite fit. I think I must have measured out too much milk. Anyway, screw the lid on, nice and tight. Now I'm using a double walled stainless steel thermos that fits a jar in. And you maintain the milk at 30 to 40 degrees Celsius overnight. So the next day, let's take your jar out of the thermos to see if the skier is set. So just looking at it there, you can see definitely the curds and whey have separated around the top. And you can also see that the, the curds have, um, or the skier has risen a little bit off the bottom. There's a clear weight in the bottom. Just to make sure it's set, just give it a bit of a jiggle. Or put your finger in it, it'll set like a curd. There we go, nice and jiggly. Okay. So I've got a colander lined with a butter muslin. I'm just going to drain the skier through that. Now just make sure that the butter muslin is wet as well. This helps with the draining and stops the skier from sticking to the cloth. Now there's a bit more in the jar, so I decided to get a spatula and just scrape all that out. There we go. Okay, we're going to grab opposite corners of the cloth to form a bag. Now you've probably seen me do this many times before. This is how I drain all of my soft cheeses. But in this case, it's, it's skier, which is also a soft cheese. So we're going to drain that for one to two hours. I found that if you drain it any longer, it uh, loses its, its, um, its yogurty thickness. So there you have it, that's how you make skier. So simple, it's almost criminal. Um, really easy to use that thermos that you saw me use, uh, that I put the one litre jar into, or one quart jar, and uh, that kept it at the right temperature for most of the night. And hence, making a very nice, 
firm skier. Now it has a consistency of uh, Greek yogurt, fairly thick, uh, and it is a little bit tarty, um, but it tastes very nice. Now I've made up two versions here. The first one you can see is a savory version, and the savory version I've sprinkled salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil on top, and I'm going to use some crackers to uh, to eat it with. The second version is a sweet version. Now I haven't added any sugar to the skier. I've just placed on top some uh, blueberries and some strawberries cut up by the lovely Kim. So uh, looks absolutely delicious, but let's see what it tastes like. So first of all, I'm gonna try the savory version of skier. I've got a teaspoon here as well. You've seen the close up of what it looks like. Um, it's fairly firm. I let it drain for about uh, two hours, but I found that it was too firm. It was more like the consistency of firm cream cheese. So what I did, I added a little bit of the whey back in and mixed it up uh, and made it into a, a yogurty sort of, um, a, th a very thick yogurt consistency. Anyway, I put a bit on my cracker. Apparently this is what you do <laughs> from what I've read. Never tried skier before, but like I said, so simple. Mmm. Very nice. Oh, it's so nice, so easy. Extremely low fat because of the skim milk. But very nice. Mmm. Great as a dip. Now, obviously, adding the olive oil has made it a little bit less low fat, but very nice. A little bit of oil on top. And the salt pepper in the in there as well. Mmm, very nice. Okay, so that was the savoury version, very nice. I used some flaked sea salt, um, some cracked black pepper, and some extra virgin olive oil on top. And just by simply dipping the spoon in and put it on your cracker, the flavour was all there. Very nice, um, very creamy, very light. Um, wasn't a real heavy sort of yogurty flavor that you'd normally get. Anyway, so let's try the, the sweet version. So I'm having lunch and dessert all in the same sitting here. So now, like I said, I haven't sweetened the skier at all. So let's try it with a little bit of fruit first. Nice big blueberry there. Mmm. So subtle, it's lovely, it really is nice. Beats yogurt pants down. Or is that hands down? I can't remember. Anyway. Oh, it's very nice. A little bit goes a long way, it's very filling. But, you know, you could eat this ramekin, no problems, in one sitting. So a little bit of strawberry with that. Mmm. Oh, I'm not going to eat it all because Kim will want some of this. She loves it. Mmm. Now you could mix a little bit of, um, uh, not icing sugar, what's the, uh, caster sugar. Really fine sugar. You'd mix a bit of that with it if you wanted to sweeten it up a bit. I quite like it like it is. A little bit of a tang. Very nice. Anyway, so that was Skier. Curd Nerds, um, really enjoyed making that. Nice little cheese. Uh, well, I'll call it cheese. It used rennet, so very simple. Um, we do have some skier kits online. Uh, however, the thermos doesn't come with it. You can buy that separately if you wish, uh, and that works uh, very well to keep your uh, the milk warm enough so the cultures will do their thing overnight without having to put it in an, a warm oven or wrap it in a towel or anything like that. Works very well. Anyway, you can pick those up at littleringworkshops.com.au. 
Well, thanks for watching Curd Nerds, and I'll see you next time.